What's up, it's ironadrone.com and today I'm going to be doing a video on my B303 Seeker. I have the uh, flight controller software up for the X380 uh, and I'm going to plug my quadcopter in and I'm going to show you something that I uh, kind of noticed. So I'm going to go ahead and connect through USB. Everything's on with the quadcopter. Uh, you'll see all the signals starting to go live. Um, the satellite is starting off slow, but I do have a strong signal, so that's not the issue. I'm having a range issue, and, and this is what I've uh, come to a conclusion as. As you can see, satellite is not an issue, fairly strong. Uh, but watch what happens when I take my controller, the transmitter, and I walk into the next room, which is about 50 feet away. As you can see, uh, everything goes funky as far as channel five six seven uh, which is return to home you'll see that start flashing on and off uh, which is a clear indicator of a range issue with the transmitter and or the receiver now i thought i had it narrowed down to transmitter or receiver um, but by shaking this uh, and moving it around um, and keep in mind i'm only about 20 30 feet away from uh, the computer i can still keep an eye on the screen and see what's going on um, but this thing is going haywire and this is potentially what's causing my quadcopter to go into uh, this return to home mode um, to where it makes it unflyable after about 30 to 50 feet so you can see where it, it keeps going back and forth between headless and reverse or in return to home uh, which makes complete sense because that's the characteristics that I'm experiencing while trying to fly or I'll, I'll lose pitch I can only go you know left or right um, I only have my elevators or I'm sorry I only have my uh, rudders in my and my uh, ailerons so now watch what happens when I just stand about 10 feet away and I grab the antenna of the uh, transmitter and I just shake it around just a little bit if you look at it here shortly um, you can see that most likely it's the antenna on the transmitter which I suspected all along uh, was the issue you can see it hopping around going into return to home um, channels I believe it's uh, five and six which is headless and return to home so uh, I think I've come to a conclusion that it is uh, the transmitter and uh, I'll need to work on getting that fixed unfortunately that came to me broken uh, from you know Gearbest whenever I did order this uh, so hopefully I'll be able to find a fix or a solution um, it looks like I'll need to get the replacement piece for the transmitter uh, where it plugs into the antenna plugs into the actual uh, transmitter board. If I can find that, maybe I'll be able to fix this, but um, I think I'm on to the right path now. Luckily, I was able to hook it up to the X380 software and uh, you know, just kind of notice this uh, when moving the uh, transmitter around. So if you're having this issue too, is where you can't get uh, out over, let's say like 30 to 50 feet without it going into a weird headless, return to home mode and you know you have good satellites and you calibrated your compass um, this could be your issue too as well so I'll continue working on it um, you know I wish Gearbest would do the right thing and possibly send me a new transmitter uh, and or you know exchange my quadcopter but unfortunately they're not um, so I've been left to kind of try to figure this out and fix it on my own unfortunately they just don't sell these parts so um, stay tuned you know, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up if this is uh, helping you out in any way, and uh, continue to work through this to try to figure out what's going on with this uh, transmitter and hopefully start being able to fly my V303 Seeker.